Well, Neil Gaiman's in trouble, and there's a lot to say about him. Yes, hi everybody and welcome to it in another video. Well then, let's cover it, shall we, my dear friends, before everybody else starts covering it. Because this is going to get big on the internet in the next couple of days or weeks. Well then, exclusive Neil Gaiman accused of sexual assault. But first, it needs to be said, and I have got a lot to say about Neil Gaiman, it needs to be said that... Uh, innocent until proved guilty. They, this this should be uh, the norm in any circumstances. So please do bear this in mind. These are accusations and uh, we have seen that uh, a lot in the last couple of years. Uh, the cancel culture and Me Too movement uh, most recently and people have kind of forgotten about it too quickly in the case of Ed Pisco who wasn't even accused of uh, any assault he was only accused of uh, chatting on the internet these are more serious accusations but let me first um, say a, a couple of words about Neil Gaiman and why I don't like him at all uh, so first and foremost uh, what should matter uh, in, <laughs> is that he is an overrated uh, uh, author and and, and uh, an overrated uh, writer. Um, his his uh, prose is uh, just pretentious. The man dares to venture into uh, topics and um, genres that um, I mean is not really his area of expertise. But he likes to make himself seem as if he was a Renaissance man. I have not. Oh, I didn't enjoy his uh, American Gods. Um, I I didn't enjoy his retellings of the Norse myths in the Norse mythology and uh, the Sandman saga was carried by the art. Uh, is not I, even. As far as the Sandman, I, I I think he is a little bit of overrated. Now, I did enjoy Sandman more when I was a teenager, and uh, I was into goth chicks. And then when I was rereading Sandman later, I I, I saw through a lot of um, cliché and. Um, preposterous uh, <laughs> pose that uh, he took, but. That's not the matter of the discussion here now. Um, what is even more um, abhorrent for me in this case is um, this. So you might be asking why am I why I'm showing you collected editions of Eric of Melibone by Michael Moorcock. Um, so these collected editions, those hard covers on the left there, um, I have read those two times. And each and every time I've skipped the introduction by Neil Gaiman, because Neil Gaiman wrote an introduction for the first volume. Why did I skip it? Because I don't like Neil Gaiman. <laughs> I don't want to read anything by Neil Gaiman anymore. I have read enough and uh, I, I just I, I feel no need. However, on the internet, I ha it has been brought to my attention by the very good people of Twitter that this uh, introduction that he actually that that he wrote was actually a short story in which he was describing Elric's youth and his experimentation with his male friends if you know what i mean kind of a very close intimate experimentation and i was like oh so it is good that i skipped this mm, forward or introduction slash short story and i was like why? Why did Neil Gaiman write such a thing? Well, maybe because he is a, de a degenerate, but uh, right. So <laughs> why don't I like Neil Gaiman other than this? Because I hadn't known about this, so this this is really irrelevant here. Uh, first and foremost, he has always been um, a coward. He's never really stood up for anybody from his... Uh, own area of expertise from the publishing industry being the comic book industry or the prose industry whenever somebody was cancelled he was silent and he even uh, contributed uh, 
into the cancel mob on one or two occasions. Uh, if you are aware of uh, your boy Zach on the internet, Richard C. Meyer, uh, he was one of the proponents, one of the first uh, modern uh, American uh, independent comic book writers who started his, or wanted to start his career on Kickstarter. Famously, he was uh, cancelled from Kickstarter because of uh, a writer called Mark Wade, I think it was. And Neil Gaiman was one of the people who uh, openly went against Richard C. Meyer. Why didn't they like Richard C. Meyer? Because he openly criticized the very bad comic books that uh, were produced at the time at Marvel and DC and are produced nowadays also. And um, on many an occasion, and I have covered this in videos in my channel, I, by the way, I have just reached a thousandth video on my channel yesterday or this morning. Hey, congratulations, European law. So there are a lot of videos on, on my channel, and uh, a couple of them are covering Neil Gaiman and how he went against his own fans and how he be behaved very... Mm, well, in a not very nice way towards his fans on uh, the internet when they were complaining about the changes that had been made to the characters in the, the Netflix Sandman show, the adaptation. And he lied on many an occasion. That, for example, that he... Um, in that, that, that It had been his intention to make the character of death, uh, in, you know, an African-American person, when we know from, like, sources <laughs> and from interviews from the past, there was actually, I think it was like a friend model or somebody who was an inspiration to him, and there had been, oh, there are pictures on the internet, even in some of the collected editions of that particular woman, a very beautiful, good-looking woman, who looks exactly like that uh, death in... Uh, the Sandman series. But, of course, this needs to be contributed also to the uh, artists of that particular comic book, which, once again, I will be repeating myself. The Sandman comic book and whatever else uh, Neil Gaiman wrote of, of, of the graphic novel medium was carried by the artists. Now, he is an, a hypocrite, a liar... And uh, apparently, from what he wrote in the Eric of Melibona book, a degenerate. I don't like him as a person. I don't like him as an uh, as an uh, an author. Nevertheless, innocent until proved guilty, under all circumstances. It shouldn't matter how much you hate or dislike somebody. We should be just towards all humans. Now, what really happened? <laughs> Look at that self-entitled prick. Right. Neil Gaiman has been accused of sexual assault by two women with whom he was in consensual relationship and is uh, the subject of a police complaint in New Zealand. And that that, that first paragraph should already tell you something. <clears throat> the fact that it's really not that kosher, I think. I mean, a consensual relationship in the past, I think that... And this happened after he got, like, many deals on uh, Netflix and, uh, you know, all the, like, TV stations and uh, streaming services. I think it's the same case as it is with many other people today, like chicks who dated him in the past. He banged them and uh, now they feel sour and uh, they want, you know, because they know, they know that it is enough for them to utter a word, to utter a sentence and uh, the man will be cancelled. It's just broken, jealous, sour bitches. But let us continue. Gaiman's position is that he strongly denies any... Of course that he denies it. Of non-consensual... Uh, consensual blah, 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 with the women and adds New Zealand police did not take up his offer of assistance over one woman's complaint in 2022, which he says reflects its lack of substance. However, New Zealand police said it made a number of attempts to speak to key people as part of this investigation, and those efforts remain ongoing, adding that there are a number of factors to take into consideration with this case, including location of all parties. The allegation spanned two decades and concerned young women who came into contact with Gaiman, the 63-year-old best-selling author of The Sandman, Good Omens, and American Gods. As an entity's child and a fan of his writing... 
You banged a nanny. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the women's allegations were first reported in Toto Art podcast Master the Allegations Against Neil Gaiman. Released on Wednesday, the four-part series examines the women's account of rough and, de- and degrading sex with the author, which they say was not always consensual. I think you were into it, and if not, you did it because he was famous. And that's like, no, you know, it's it's okay, it's normal. I mean, look at all the celebrities, and why do you think why why do you think anybody would want to sleep with a celebrity? Especially when a celebrity isn't like an, an extremely good-looking chap, like I don't know uh, Henry Cavill or Tom Hardy, because Neil Gaiman is, is a normal-looking guy. I mean, you know, he's he's not like a model because he's famous. He's got the money. You will you will let him do stuff to you because he's famous, and you think you'll get stuff, and you'll get into position, and you'll get clout. So don't cry now. You bitch. <laughs> Although the vast majority of cases of sexual assault happen within relationships, most allegations go unreported and therefore unprosecuted because of the expectation that uh, alleged victims would not be in a relationship with their alleged assailant. While the law says that consent is for each and every sexual act, many people assume that a relationship provides ongoing consent. Scarlett, 23, alleges that se- the gay man sexually assaulted her within hours of their first meeting in February 2022 in a bath at his New Zealand residence where she worked as a nanny to his child. Tortoise understands that gay man's account is that they only cuddled and made out. So something happened, right? So gay man, uh, Tortoise understands that gay man's account is that they only cuddled and made out in the bath. And that he had established consent for this. His position... <laughs> oh boy, no. Um, I don't want to read the details aloud. So I'll post a link to the description down below. It's 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 getting too too graphic for like a a video about a comic book author. Um, do I believe in those accusations? I don't know. As I said, innocent until proved guilty. Do I like Neil Gaiman? Fuck no. <laughs> but uh, I will be I will be honest and I'll be just towards everybody. So let me know in the comments down below what your stance upon the entire matter is. And there will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.